What's going on, everyone? It's your boy Slumdog Millionaire here, just for the hell of this podcast. And uh, we got a little something special planned today. Doing an interview today. Two very beautiful actresses. We have from uh, Side Dish, which is going to be blowing up, I'm telling you. Uh, we have Andrea playing CC, as well as Jalen playing Nina. How y'all doing today? Good. Good. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Well, coronavirus out there. Hopefully, y'all staying safe. <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like I said, I saw episode one, and episode one was crazy. I thought it was great. Y'all killed it. Um, how did y'all feel about it? Um, I'll let Nina go ahead and start that off. Okay. Or Jay. Well, I think it was <laughs> same girl. <laughs> um. <laughs> Well, I think it went really, really well. I think it was probably the perfect introduction episode, a really good way to set off the season to kind of get everybody excited for what's going to come next, a good way to introduce all the characters. I mean, I don't think that's everybody, but you just get a good introduction to the majority of the people that you're going to keep seeing on screen. Right, right. And I, and I, I agree with Jalen, a.k.a. Nina. I feel like it was a good introduction to what's to come. I feel like it went very well. Um, I feel like everything fell into place and just gives us a preview of, you know, what can be expected in this season. Right. And I'm telling you, I I was generally surprised based on everybody's performances. I, I'm telling you, everybody killed their role. Every single person, including um, uh, whoever the sister is. I, I can't think of her name. Oh, um, yeah, my Marcia. sister. Oh my God, yeah. yo! She she had me dying. She had me dying. But um, yeah, that's my girl. Now let me ask y'all. I know this is kind of like a different experience going in since this is like you know new territory for a couple of us. Um, how did y'all feel going into this from the start? Um, well, this is CC. For me, I was a bit hesitant only because um. I don't know. I feel like I like to support the director slash writer slash producer, Julian, whoever he wants to be called. I feel like I support her from a distance, so I didn't know how it would work with me actually working with him side by side. So I was a little hesitant, but I am glad that I chose to, you know, kind of step into the role of CC. Um, I feel like every, you know, yeah, I feel like it, it was a good decision on my part and his part. So it was, it's okay. It's good. So far, so good. Okay. What about you, Jalen? I would say I had a little bit of hesitation as well. Mine more so being like, I feel like obviously I'm not a trained actress at all. But, you know, I feel like I might have some acting ability, maybe it's a little bit. I feel like I can get a little performance anxiety. So it took me a little bit to kind of get over that and get kind of comfortable being in front of the camera and trying to act natural. But I think it's just going to get better as the season goes along. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and I, I was going to say, because looking at the first episode, honestly, I couldn't see it from either of y'all. Y'all seen seasons in front of the camera, honestly. And I, I get what goes on behind the scenes and everything like that, but actually seeing the finished product, that shit was on point. It really was. Thank and you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It, it can be hard trying to be natural, though, because I'm far from seasoned myself. So no training classes, nothing. Right, right. <laughs> now, I, I got to ask, how do y'all feel about the, uh, the other cast members? You know, with uh, how we go with the dictator playing uh, Pex, you know what I'm saying? You have uh, Q-Ball out there playing this part. Um, I feel like all the roles were cast appropriately, and I feel like everybody fit their role. It all came together. But in the beginning, I was a little like, uh, why? But seeing everything play out, I feel like, I feel like you know what? He was right in his casting because I can't imagine anybody else playing the roles that these specific people are playing. That's right. I agree with you on that. I agree with you. What about you, Jalen? What do you think about that? Yeah, I would say the other, um, the rest of the cast is cool. I think a good thing about it was I was already very familiar with the majority of the people, you know, on board. So that was, um, I think that was helpful with trying to get comfortable with everybody. But I think that everybody did an awesome job. Everybody played their role. I love Mr. Um, Mr. Rice. Mm -hmm. He's one of my faves. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> and, uh, hella cool. Hella cool. 
Yeah, he's awesome. And just, I really think that everybody did a great job. All right, so I got to ask y'all, what what can we expect coming up? What can we expect? Um, well, we can't say too much about what's coming up without giving away um, the storyline. But just right. a lot of foolishness, probably. <laughs> right. <laughs> a lot of foolishness. I mean, what can you expect from the real Julie? And I don't know. So, right. you know, I think it's going to be a lot of, um, it's going to be a lot more comedy and then you'll have some, you know, some serious parts, but a lot of relatable, um, a lot of relatable episodes when it comes to like the relationships and how the guys ain't shit and how, you know, things can fall apart and build back up. Right. Yeah. I agree, and I would also say just a lot of character development, because right now, kind of how I said before, you guys only really got the introduction. Mm -hmm. So as time goes on, you get to see more about who these characters really are. Okay. Now, you know, in television today, we really don't get shows like this anymore. We had talked about this previously on the uh, podcast, which uh, we don't really get black television shows like this. I mean, you have, you know, Real Housewives of Atlanta and all that stuff, the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Uh, but we really don't get shows like this anymore, like how to be a player and, you know, whatnot. So let me ask y'all, how do y'all feel bringing this kind of content back into, like, we're going to try to put it in the mainstream? I think it's timely. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of new creators popping up. There's definitely an audience for it. So I definitely think it's right on time. I agree. And I'm actually just happy to be a part of something because my hope is that it will catch on and that somebody will see it and bring it to be bigger than what it actually is. So I think it is just time. And I think it's time for us to go back to the, you know, scripted good black shows versus the reality. Nothing is wrong with the reality, but we need to, you know, put more of the positive and funny black shows in there. Take it back to like the Martins and the Little Singles and stuff like that. I agree with you on that one, because we really are missing shows like that nowadays. We just don't have mm-hmm. Now, let me ask right. y'all both this. After this project, do y'all have any plans on doing anything else when it comes to acting? I know, Jalen, you love your music, and uh, like I said, I'm a big fan of yours when it comes to the rap. I'm Thank a big you. fan. So, what, what plans do y'all have after the show? Acting-wise? I- <laughs> I don't know if I really thought that far. I mean, we'll see if we get to a season two. You know, prayerfully we do. But as far as now, I'm not. Nothing right. for Nina right now. <laughs> right. And, and Cece, I don't have any plans. I mean, like I said, I kind of just stepped into this role being, you know, a supportive person. So I haven't really thought up anything, but we'll see how this season goes and how it makes me feel, because maybe I might just want to put on a acting shoe and take some classes. Who knows? Oh, absolutely. That's good to hear. Well, you know, that's pretty much all I have right now. Like I said, I want to try to do this again. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it in person once all this stuff blows over, because right now, it's kind of hot in the streets. You know? So right, right. Hopefully, we right. can do this in person. And hopefully we can do this after this show blows up, because I'm telling you, I got a feeling it is. I got a feeling it will. Yeah, me too. And we just going to remain positive about it and just hope for the best. Well, we're going to claim it. We're just going to keep speaking it into existence. So. Definitely. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Now, before I sign off, do y'all want to shout out any IG handles, Twitter handles, anything like that? Um, I don't, because my page is private. Um, but eventually (laughs) all my social medias are private Facebook um, and Instagram but eventually I will be making a page for Miss Cece Perez but as of right now as of right now I don't have anything but when I get it I will come back around and shout it out so people can follow that's what's up that's what's up okay my page is open (laughs) (laughs) I know. <laughs> so if anyone is interested in following me seeing the person behind Nina I'm on Instagram follow me on Instagram because that's where you actually don't see me be active um, but that is J Allure Official that's J-A-Y 
A L L U R E official. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, ladies, I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all taking time out of y'all day to do this. And, uh, yes, well, thank you. Oh, no problem. Hopefully next time we do this, this shit is going to be on top of the world. Yeah. Okay. All right, now, hey, the Slumdog Millionaire, just for the hell of a podcast, we out of here.